Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna make easy, simple, no fail divinity. It is an easy recipe, easy to follow. We're gonna do this in real time. And the first thing that we're gonna do, we need to do our egg whites. Um, I have two egg whites in here. They're at room temperature. So I went ahead and put these in there. They've been setting a little bit just to make sure that they're room temperature when I start to whip them. And here we have our sugar. And what I have in here, I have two and a third cup of sugar, you know, just the granulated sugar. I have two thirds cup of the Cairo syrup. And you can use the generic. I mean, I use generic, it, you know, it's a parade brand and it always turns out, and I have a half a cup of water in here. So I am going to uh, stir this just a little to incorporate it, but we're gonna do everything in real time. But you do wanna set up everything first. Okay, you wanna have everything ready. And I have a thermometer, which is infrared. And I have my spoons and I have my mat, my rubber mat that I'm gonna scoop it onto. And I have a plate. And the plate is for putting over this um, so that it steams and gets all the sugar crystals um, from the inside of your pot. And so I will show you that. But you just wanna make sure you have everything ready to go. Um, I've got my salt that I'm gonna add to my uh, egg whites when they start getting nice and peaked. Uh, we got something a little more softer in sound here. All right, let me put this spoon over here because I will not use that spoon again. Okay, and we just want to mix it enough to where everything kind of gets incorporated in here. If you hear anything, I've got my German Shepherd puppy in his kennel. He's watching the Beverly Hillbillies. All right. And what I'm gonna do, the secret to this, you don't want any crystallization. You always want to scrape down the side, go around the side, make sure you don't have any crystals. And so I will go over here to the sink while this is cooking and I will rinse this off. Let me rinse this off real quick. Okay, it is rinsed. So, what we want to do, we want to take our thermometer and we want to, um, we want to periodically check it. So, what you do, I'm sure everybody knows how to work a infrared, but you just put it over it and it will tell you. So, right now I'm at 120. <laughs> While this is coming to a boil, I have my egg whites over here, if you can see my hand and it's very noisy. So I'm gonna whip these egg whites and Okay, we have whipped our egg whites and we do have um, a nice little peak here. And this is coming along nicely, as you can see. It is starting to come to a boil. What we want is a rolling boil. And we are going to time this for one minute. We're gonna cover it and time it. So it is looking nice, almost, almost. Let's see, let me get this down here so we can take a look, see. There, adjust that camera a little bit. See, it's almost coming to a rolling ball. With a rolling ball, you want it to kind of tumble over itself. It's getting there. And I do have the vanilla that I am going to add in just a little bit. Um, when I cover this, I'll turn the camera off and then I will put a little bit of vanilla, just about a half a teaspoon, just something to flavor um, the uh, egg whites. And um, I will come back and when I go to lift the, the lid off, 
I don't want to make too much noise. I'm going to bring it up just a hair, just a hair, so we get that nice rolling boil. Let's check our temperature. We want candy, we want the, um, the candy stage, a hard candy stage, and that would be around 265. Okay, we're at 232. So we're almost at that rolling boil. I'm gonna turn it up just another tiny little hair. And I like to use Wilton. And of course, you know, it, it's um, it's a clear vanilla, a vanilla. It's a clear vanilla. You can use it in cakes uh, or anything, but you don't want any color. So, looks like we're getting a nice, it has been one minute so let's take this off all right it's over here in the sink that is super duper hot and let's give it just a little stir keep it off the sides be real careful because you just steamed it to get it off the sides now if you're working with candy especially at a hard stage you always want to rinse your stuff and your pots in boiling water, in nice hot water. So I'm going to take... In warm water. A little bit of candy there. Rinsing this off real quick, and then we'll check our temperature. Just dry my little spatula off real good. All right, let's check the temperature. 242. Okay, we're still going to continue to cook it until it reaches 265. And you can always... Um, you can use a, a candy thermometer if you don't have um, this kind of thermometer. You can use a candy thermometer. You can do the um, the water, the ice test. Now, when I do my fudge, I do not use a thermometer. I always use, I use the technique that my mother taught me and that my grandmother taught her. And that's always with ice water in, um, in with like one or two cubes of ice in a bowl and you just kind of drop a little bit in there and you kind of touch it and if it's soft now if it falls through your fingers it's not ready it's too soft if it makes like a little ball you can make a ball that's what they call a soft ball stage and then that's ready but that's fudge so we're talking about divinity and um since i'm that's a soft ball stage. I want a candy stage. That's why I use a infrared thermometer. 249. It's getting there. All right. I think I got candy on my hands. Let me rinse my hands. All right. My hands were getting pretty darn sticky there. Um, I've got my uh, my egg whites. They're ready. So let me change out. Go ahead and come up some. You can hear my dog in his kennel, my puppy. My husband's mowing, so he can't go outside because he'll just cry and be scared, and we don't want to do that. Traumatizing. Okay, let's move this a little closer. Now this is our egg whites. They are nice and fluffy. You wanna just knock that off. You wanna take the whisk off and you wanna put the paddle on. So I'm gonna put this in a little bit of water and put my paddle on. Okay.
Okay, almost there. Okay, we are at 266. Okay, so let's turn this off. All right, I'm gonna take it off the heat for just a second. And just to kind of let it sit just a, just a bit. And then what we're gonna do, look, I've got it out of y'all's way. Y'all can't even see what's going on here. Um, I'm gonna let it cool down just a little bit and then I'm gonna slowly add it to our, um, our egg whites. Now, a lot of people like their divinity with um, pecans. That's okay. Everybody loves pecans. I love pecans, um, but I just wanted something creamy, like a little creamy bite. And plus I need to go get some pecans. Um, so, but with this recipe, I will have it posted below. We do have a Patreon page now, and we will have lots of stuff there on Patreon that we don't put on YouTube. Lots of videos with recipes, and it's a blog type style. And so if you want to show support or anything like that, I do have a Patreon page, which I will list. Okay, let's look. All right, look at that. Okay, now we're gonna, I'm gonna put this a little bit closer. Okay, I, I'm sorry, with the pecans, three-fourths a cup with the pecans. You want to put the pecans in in this mixture when we're mixing. Okay, I wanna make sure y'all can see. This is metal, so it's not, I'm looking, my wires are in the back. They're not even, okay, they're up here. So it's not gonna hurt if I put this right here so that y'all can see. All right, the main thing we wanna do, we wanna knock the gloss off of this. Egg whites are glossy, that's how you know. So I'm going to, Pull this camera in a little bit closer. And we're going to put this down. We're going to turn it on. And it's going to be a little noisy. I'm so sorry. So, here we go. Little at a time. See how, we're, see how we have our, um, our mixture, our sugar? Just a little bit. And then let it mix. Okay, let's turn it up a little bit higher. Be careful because if you get any of this candy on you, it will burn you. And it is very, very, very hot. Okay, just a little bit more. See how we're just putting a little, see if you can see that. Just a little bit more. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna add a little more. This with two hands, I tell you. I tell you what. Let me get a better grip on it. Back it up a little bit. Okay? Is that better? Okay. Here we go. A little bit. We don't want curdled eggs or anything. I don't know if it would do that, but I bet it would with it being egg whites. And like I said, we're doing real time, so then we have a bunch of noise. We're going to go a little bit more. Let that incorporate. It is very, very, very shiny. Okay. Tiny bit more. You just slowly want to pour your mixture and stop. Pour and stop and let it mix. Oh, it smells so nice. Okay. Pour a little bit more. And 
don't scrape the pan. You might be scraping crystals. And you don't want crystals in your um, in your candy. You just pour it till there's no more left. Okay, it looks like it's ready, but I'm gonna take a fork and I'm just gonna stick it in there and make sure, see look, got that little round piece of candy. It is ready. So I wanna unplug this, lift this up. Golly, look at that, holy moly, I'm going to have some fun eating on this, my goodness, this is for me. All right, let me unhook this, let me move this monster out of the way. Look at that. See how solid it is? Let's check the temperature on it. 139. But it's soft. There's no shine. We tested it. It's nice and soft. So let's scrape this down. Now this is um, candy that I'm making for just myself. Well, not just me, my husband. So, let's get this. Closer. And then just kind of scoop it out. And however big a pieces that you want. What takes the longest is scooping all this out. And sometimes it's just not really pretty, but you know it's going to be good. Now, if you want pecans, put those pecans in there before it, uh, while the shine is still there, but not in the beginning of the stage. Basically, when you think it's starting to thicken, you can feel it thicken. Go ahead and put your uh, pecans in there. And don't burn your machine up trying to um, make this candy. Because you will burn up one of those machines. I just couldn't imagine doing it by hand, just plain old mixer. That would be really, that would be really rough. Now when these cool, I'll go back and just kind of um, smooth out those little sharp little points i mean it don't matter to me what they look like but i'm gonna take a picture of them for you guys and it's still cool enough i mean you could even you could touch it with your hand it's still cool i mean it's warm but it's cool to the touch not cold but
Now, if I mean, it's cool enough to the touch to where you could um, take and mold it with your hand if you wanted to. Um, you could even take a pecan, a pecan, a pecan, a pecan, however you say it. We say pecans. And um, you could mash a whole pecan down into this, kind of give it a, um, a nice little uh, look to it for gifts. So let's look at the consistency. Look at that. It's nice, it's soft, it's just airy fluffiness, and it is delicious. I will save this piece for later, put it right here, and I will get the rest of what's in here out. And I want to thank you guys for watching and subscribe to my channel. Um, uh, make Give me a comment. Let me know what you think. It's a very easy, fail-proof recipe. Even if it's raining, I've made it when it was raining, had no problems at all. The problem is you have to beat it until the shine is gone. That lets you know that the air is in it and that it's, it's ready. So a lot of times people will still have that shine and it's still real loose and they think, oh my gosh, my candy didn't turn out. Beat it a little bit longer. Don't give up on it. Keep periodically. You can turn your machine off. Don't burn your machine up. You can turn your machine off. Let it set just a little. Turn it on low and then go from there. You can hit it at several speeds. You're just trying to cool it and get that air into it. So I want to thank everyone for um, su supporting my channel. For liking my video. For watching them. And I hope everyone has enjoyed this one. And I hope it didn't take too long. I wanted to do it in real time to make it easy to understand because divinity, it seems kind of complicated. And a lot of folks are like, I can't make this. Yes, you can. You can make this with this recipe. And I will post this recipe for all you guys. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, your support. I do have a Patreon page. If y'all want to come on over there, I will have Patreon exclusive recipes and exclusive videos. So if you want to subscribe, um, I do have a Facebook page. Come over there. Say hi. I'm always posting stuff there. So it's good to see everyone. And I love all the comments and I love all you guys for watching. Thank you so much for watching Crazy Cajun Living. Have a great day and enjoy your candy and make some candy. You will love it. It's super easy. Bye.